episode starts with a flashback from the 1500s. A guy yells that everyone must be out by dawn or they're in danger. That night, we see a guy wandering the beach looking for prostitutes. He runs into a woman who introduces herself as Neutrogena and invites him for dinner. She promises to show him a good time, but then she bites him. Fast forwarding to current times, Notch and the crew are excited about hosting the International Lifeguard Convention and their friend Nakus Johnstein from Israel was coming to town to accept an award. The only one not excited is Kimberly, who is down in the dumps because she wants more adventure in her life. Nakus arrives in town and Notch introduces him to their newest lifeguard, Porcelain Bidet. Nakus hits on Porcelain, but she tells him she only dates rich married men and if he wants someone cheap, he should come back at night and he'll find someone. While all this is happening, lifeguards are being found dead on the beach, with bite marks on their necks. Later that night, Nakus, taking Porcelain's advice, is seen strolling the docks looking for women. That's when he's approached by Neutrogena. When he asked her how much it would cost him for a date, he told him it was free. Before he could get too excited about that, she bites and turns him. Free? That's my favorite four letter word! Hmm. <sighs> <laughs> the next night, Neutrogena at her lair awakens the vampire she's turned so far and reprimands them for not turning enough people. She singles out one vampire specifically, who she then zaps into ash. Nakus, now known as Count Nocula, promises to bring her more children to make her happy. This is when he presents that he has turned porcelain. We must find you more children of the night. And from these children, you will get the blood that nourishes your dark soul. And look at the beautiful child. I already broke you. Let's just say she went down for the count. The next day, Nosh is with Kimberly and Chip. Chip tries to convince the duo that the issue had to be vampires, but of course, vampires aren't real, so they don't believe him. Count Nocula then shows up and hypnotizes Kimberly, telling her he can give her the adventure she's looking for if she follows him. She goes outside, where he has porcelain ready to bite and turn her. Good evening again. You say you want adventure. Well, let the adventure begin. You are now one of the children of the night. Kimberly then comes back to headquarters with Notch and is acting very strange. She goes to bite Notch, but is stopped by Chip before she can get to him. Well, oh, Notch, I'm feeling much better, and I'm having such an adventure. Well. Every day is an adventure when you work for me, not Johnson. That's far enough, Kimberly of the Dark. Kimberly is not one of them. She sucks the life out of people. Kimberly's a divorce lawyer? She's a vampire. Back at Neutrogena's lair, she's still unhappy. She needs two more souls to keep her immortality. That's when Notch and Chip show up wanting to destroy her, and the fight scene ensues. Notch ends up distracting the vampires with the UV light he was using to help his eczema, allowing Chip the opportunity to shoot an arrow into Neutrogena, killing her, resulting in the others returning to normal. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to know when I update and check out the channel playlist which I regularly update with free vampire media featuring female bloodsuckers available on YouTube.